When you look at the um, more recent um, data, uh, then one is surprised uh, by the extent uh, or, or the pace of um, the fall in the ringgit, uh, as well as the um, widening um, CDS spreads uh, on, on for Malaysia uh, for the Malaysia credit. I mean, today I'm a little bit concerned that. Uh, if you look at both uh, those uh, data points, uh, the ringgit uh, plus the CDS spreads, uh, they are um, you know, way beyond uh, fundamental values. Um, our research uh, analysts think that on a trade-weighted basis, uh, the ringgit, uh, on a relative basis, the ringgit should be circa 370 or so. Uh, so there seems to be uh, a clear uh, some indication that the um, you know sentiment is playing a part uh, in uh, terms of uh, where uh, some of those um, um, prices are, and this is of course a concern. Um, but you know, as with any economic situation, what is uh, crucial is we get it diagnosed properly, uh, so that you then handle it uh, with the right uh, set of policy measures. So I'm very pleased that the uh, uh, Minister of Finance, the Prime Minister, uh, is uh, going through a process of engaging uh, a cross-section uh, of uh, the community, uh, most particularly analysts uh, and uh, uh, businessmen, uh, to get uh, their perspective uh, of uh, the economic situation. Yeah, so that he hears um, uh, lots of uh, different views uh, and then can make his uh, own assessment uh, in terms of what needs to be uh, done. Uh, we need to diagnose properly uh, and we need to then come up with the uh, sensible uh, responses.